In this video, we're going to discuss how to study for the MCAT exam. The first thing you're going to want to do is content review. Even though you may have already taken all of the courses required for the MCAT exam, you should recognize that the curriculum of your college courses does not match the MCAT. What that means is some of the content you learn in your college courses is not going to be tested on the MCAT. And at the same time, there's going to be content tested on the MCAT that you haven't learned before in your college courses. So that's why it's important to have a dedicated period of time where you're focusing on learning the content tested on the MCAT. Now, in terms of reviewing content, you probably know that the MCAT tests a very broad range of subjects and each student has their own strengths and weaknesses. And that means you shouldn't spend an equal amount of time on every subject on the exam. In fact, you wanna spend more time on your weaknesses and less time on your strengths. And the best way to do this is by taking a diagnostic test. So if you take a diagnostic test, this can be helpful for you to identify which sections of the exam are your strengths and which sections of the exam are your weaknesses. And then you can put in the appropriate amount of effort into each section. Now, in terms of actually doing the content review, you're going to want to pick up a set of MCAT books. And you can pick up a set of books from any test prep company. They're gonna work just fine. Now, when you're using these books, you want to make sure that you're not just putting them on a shelf and letting them collect dust. You actually want to read the books and absorb the content. And a question we often get from students is, can I just watch MCAT videos instead? And we, tell students all the time that MCAT videos are fantastic. They are an excellent supplementary resource, but you cannot use them to replace MCAT books. And that's just because at this time, there is not a source of MCAT videos that covers all of the content tested on the exam. So that means if you rely solely on MCAT videos for content, you're gonna find that you still have a lot of content gaps when you start doing practice questions. So you want to use MCAT books and use MCAT videos to review the topics you have difficulties with. Okay, so after content review, the next thing you're going to want to do is practice. And you can see here, we've listed two types of practice questions, AAMC practice questions and non-AAMC practice questions. The AAMC are the creators of the MCAT. So these practice questions released by the AAMC are all from previous administrations of the exam. That means that the AAMC practice questions are the best practice questions available, and they are gonna be the most similar to the ones that you're gonna see on test day. The unfortunate news is that there aren't that many AAMC practice questions. In fact, as of 2019, the AAMC has only released four full-length practice tests, and many students are going to want to do more than four full-length practice tests. So that's why many students will rely on non-AAMC practice questions that you can purchase from test prep companies. Now, of course, uh, non-AAMC practice questions are similar to MCAT, but they aren't as good as the AAMC practice questions. So you don't want to mix AAMC questions with non-AAMC practice questions. You want to complete the non-AAMC practice questions first, and once you switch over to AAMC practice questions, you should be doing only AAMC practice questions. Now, another important aspect of doing practice questions is learning from your mistakes. If you simply do questions, read the solution, do questions, read solutions, you'll often find that your score doesn't improve by very much. In order to see score improvements, you need to make sure that you are doing an intensive review of the questions. And the reason why is because when you get a question wrong, you need to be able to find out why did I get this question wrong and what do I need to do so I don't get this type of question wrong again. And at the same time, you want to look at the questions that you got right and you wanna make sure that you got them right for the right reason and that you weren't simply guessing. This way, as you do more practice questions, you're going to become a better test taker and be able to get more and more questions right and see an upward trend with your scores. So again, definitely make sure you're doing practice questions, but also make sure you're doing a very thorough review of the practice questions. So to summarize, when you're studying for MCAT, 
start with content review, do non-AAMC practice questions as needed, and then definitely make sure you're doing all of the AAMC practice questions. Thank <laughs> you.